What up, internet? Um, <laughs> so we're currently in that magical time of year where young people around the world are- <laughs> What the heck am I doing?! I haven't slept in three weeks! Too much to remember! <laughs> Exam season. Where schools judge how intelligent we are by the amount of facts we can't be bothered to remember that we will never use in the rest of our lives. As somebody who has survived, mostly, the education process, I have a lot of people on the internet right now asking me how. So today, without joking too much, because I know this is life or death for some of you right now, I would like to share some pro tips with you guys on how to survive the exam season. Firstly, start studying weeks before your exam. <laughs> oh, 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 oh man, that's a good one. Um, but no, seriously, that's actually the best thing. I mean, you can, but if you're watching my videos, I'm guessing you're like me and you would probably procrastinate rescuing a family from a burning house, so. Good luck with that. The first thing is to sort out your environment. You cannot study if you are stressing out in a pile of underwear and crumbs, okay? Which is, I know what you are sitting in right now. Don't try to fool me. Get rid of all distractions. I'm just gonna come out and say this to so prepare yourself. Try turning off notifications. What did he just say? You can't study if you're like this. Okay. Oh, friend request. <laughs> Oh, new follower! Ah, oh, Snapchat story! New cat in Nekoatsume- Alright, forget this. Woo! Big projects are scary, so just break it down into little pieces and reward yourself with a phone check every time you get a little bit done, even if it's just one paragraph of the essay, or the title if you're like me. Like a dog who keeps peeing on furniture, you can train yourself with tiny rewards. If you draw up a schedule, mute your grandma on Facebook. If you solve an algebra problem, indirect someone on Twitter. If you memorize five facts, go read your favorite Stephen Bucky Mpreg fic. Quite specific, Dan. And make sure that when you do study, you're doing it in the right way. Loads of people I knew basically just did this. Okay, I have three tests this week in three different subjects. Let's do this. Absorb! That's not how to study. Make good notes by breaking it down. Not like... Drop the bass. Math, math. Math, 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 math. Am I really gonna make that joke? You know what I say? Do what Sherlock would do, not make out with John, you perv. Go into a mind palace. Start with the huge thing you have to learn and break it into just the key facts that remind you of the whole story so that when somebody goes, VOLCANO! You go, Mount Vesuvius erupted in 79 AD. It's a stratovolcano and it erupted in a pyroclastic flow that affected 3 million people monitored by synthetic aperture radar. Boom! I am ready to do this. Because learning five facts that remind you of the story is a lot better than just staring at the story all day. <coughs> you can do one of those find out what kind of learner you are quizzes so you can work out if you should color code different themes or draw up a mind map or even like I did in a physics lesson once where I remembered the entire periodic table by turning it into a song. Oh, hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen. Maybe just in your head though, as the guy that sat next to me in the class, who was usually the bully that spent most of his time <laughs> spitting on the floor, actually asked to move away from me because I was so annoying. Fluorine, Neon, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, and sulfur! Oh my god! <sighs> sir, sir, can I please move? He's driving me insane! <gasps> Chlorine and argon! <laughs> I want to learn! That actually happened. And my best actual good tip, if I may, is to work out how your exams are marked, because every kind of paper has some sad lonely sadist just sat up in a room ticking boxes that is following a marking plan and if you work out what that plan is and apply the facts you've memorized to it you can't really go wrong so just download loads of old exam papers and try it out mm, wow that was too close to being actually helpful i need to make this more stupid and school is lame am i right well the other top tip is it's important to stay active with exercise and a healthy diet and <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm just pulling your leg, don't worry. But no, really, it actually makes a huge difference. Now, the night before an exam, 
Don't do an all-nighter, okay? If you try to write an essay into the depths of the night or cram notes at 3 a.m., you'll be like, oh, and then the square root of the banana Shakespeare. I'm gonna... That's not useful, especially if you're like that during the exam. So do not drink loads of coffee or take caffeine pills. If anything, do what I did, which is go to sleep and try to wake up really early. Even if you like, can't sleep, too anxious, might just implode right now. At least you're resting your energy, so as soon as that sun rises, you can be like... <laughs> All right, let's do this! Oh, my bare nipples! And then... Doomsday. I mean, exams day, the day of the, the test happens. Only read over selective notes, don't be like... Get in my head! Try not to be late. Don't hang around other nervous people because they'll just freak you out. No, I can't do this. I'm gonna die. Get out of the way, ho. I don't need your negative vibes. Read the paper and the questions carefully and remember to breathe. I'm saying that because I actually forgot to breathe for about five minutes during a psychology paper once. Okay, concentrate, 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 concentrate! <laughs> but most importantly, remember that the grades you get today will be with you for the rest of your life for people to judge you based on. Wait, no, no, that's not it. Um, that is not the end of the world and there is much more to life. Yeah, I mean, after all, I didn't end up using any of my qualifications and I'm okay. I mean, if my YouTube career flopped, which it still could at any moment, then I have nothing to fall back on, but, um... <laughs> hey, you forge your own path in life. Please keep watching my videos, that's all I have. Good luck. Click down here to subscribe to my channel to watch more of my videos to keep me alive. You can watch my last one over there, and I will see you guys next time. Hopefully. Please. Bye.